everybody, Princess the Bear here, and welcome to Animal Kingdom, and happy Hispanic Heritage Month to all our guys, gals, and non-binary pals. You should have two months. I don't know why you're straddling just the one. It is um, Latin and Hispanic American Heritage Month. It is also Bear's birthday today. Yeah, we're sharing a birthday the first, for some reason. The September 15th is the day of the, the first of all the things, so we're gonna start our celebration the right way at the Animal Kingdom. Yes, we are. So let's uh, go try out some Hispanic heritage. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And happy birthday, Bear. Ghost, which is probably Bear's Delight because it's lemonade and vodka. Nice and easy. On the tart side, but not too tart. So like a nice, a nice balanced lemonade. I think um, it's probably not tart enough for Bear, but it's perfect for me. So I will give it a four out of five Tito's. A nice very pink Himalayan ghost. The prince is right. I'm never gonna refuse pink lemonade or refuse vodka, but I'm not gonna refuse lemonade, period, in any drink. You add alcohol and I'm pretty much sold. Mmm. That nice mouth puckering refreshness. Four out of five claws. Honestly, I wish I'd gotten this. So, we have a first drink for Latin and Hispanic Heritage Month. Uh, we have a Sangria Rojo, which is apparently based around the fact that the uh, water in Portugal and Spain used to not be good to drink. They actually give you like little history facts when you get your drinks. I'm completely okay with that. It completely matches the theme of Animal Kingdom. Uh, sangria instead of water? They did it, not me. Oh, that's strong. That's probably the brandy, unfortunately, because it's the brandy. The brandy is the vegan. It's Prince Cavity. Okay. So it's all for me. It's super sweet. It's got a nice, like, uh, brandy kick behind it. It definitely did not skimp on the brandy on this. But we shoot all our sangria from Animal Kingdom. It's four and a half out of five claws. I dragged Bear out here on the first day of Latin and Hispanic American Heritage Month is for this Dulce de Leche cupcake. Now, we were able to enjoy the Dulce de Leche, was it flan that we had at um, Flower and Garden? So I was really expecting like some version of that here in a cupcake. But this is a lot more than I expected. Now we have these beautiful like little boba balls that you can barely see. We have these little uh, flowers, some little trimmings here. They actually glittered the um, sprinkles. And then you have this white chocolate Antonio here. Antonio is not vegan, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull him out. He's just this nice little in insert. 
Now, as soon as we remove Emilio, why am I calling him Emilio? Antonio? As soon as we remove Antonio, we have a vegan cupcake. Bear is getting this lovely white chocolate Antonio all to himself. And I'm going to fork this beautiful cupcake. I'm gonna put it down. Go. Now you can see it's like a nice little vanilla, the frosting. I don't think you can really see if there's any like innards in there. I don't really see any innards, but we're gonna take a really large bite apparently and it's mostly frosting. I'm gonna take some of this innards too. Wow. It tastes like, like a horchata. Like a really delicious horchata in cupcake form. I don't know if I get, I'm getting dulce de leche from it. I mean, there is three different plant-based milks, which is nice. It's not nut free because of that. But yeah, this is a winning cupcake. I can definitely feel the cinnamon and the leche of it all. I just feel like it's more on the um, horchata side than anything. But still really amazing. Probably one of the better desserts that we've had um, just in general at Disney World. I really appreciate the fact that Disney is at least giving us one cupcake. Today they just gave us a, a, a Halloween cupcake. So bring on the, I guess, singular desserts. It's better than nothing. We're making progress here, people. That's progress. Did I rate it? I don't think I rated it. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five casitas. It's really good. It's very cinnamony. It's nice to see that we're getting this Encanto Tres Leches cupcake. We know that you can do plant-based cupcakes, you just need more of them. I'm happy to have the one, but I'm not satisfied with one. If you can do it for a Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Festival, you can do it for Halloween, Christmas, uh, first day of summer, whatever you do cupcakes for, but you do cupcakes for everything. There's no reason we shouldn't see more plant-based cupcakes. Uh, being able to remove the dahlia is perfect. It's not ideal, but it's perfect. I'll take that, but you can do a lot better. Now this uh, little medallion this time freaked me out because I thought it was just a camera. No, it's just a blurry print. It's the usual white chocolate medallion you see on all cupcakes. Just a little screen print for Encanto Antonio on here. Typical white chocolate medallion. Actually, this cupcake that the princess has perfectly butchered for us. I love like the greens and the the pinks and the like the. It gives me the um, sort of kind of like Colombian plant vibes that you see in the movie. So I think this is a very well themed cupcake. And I don't really like most of Walt Disney World's cupcakes. I'm just gonna dig in here. Try to get all the layers, try to get some innards in here. Hopefully I don't make a mess and the whole thing doesn't come apart. Or it comes apart, it's coming apart. But you get the idea. Some green bubble balls in there. Yeah, there we go. That is a fantastic cupcake. I'm glad they served it in a cup and not in like the usual like paper housing and cupcake because this would have been a mess, messier otherwise. This is, this is amazing. Why restaurant to sorts? Mind you, there are some other places around the park you can get it, but a cupcake like this should be in more than just Animal Kingdom. Stop trying to put POCs in only Animal Kingdom. See what you're doing. Be watching you. Four and a half out of five plus. Now because there are no rules at Walt Disney World, yes, I did have my dessert before my lunch. Or dinner. Or brunch. I think Cubans are qualified okay for lunch. Though, even the princess remarked, this is one of the thinnest Cubans I've ever seen in my life. I'm okay with flat bread, but the filling? 
the filling is it's not doing. You definitely see the, the shredded pork. I see a little bit of mustard on there, the, the piece of ham. The flavor is what matters, but, and I'm all for quick service size plates, but this seems small. I have like two super thin Cubans and then more fries than I've seen with any quick service item I've gotten in a very long time. Are y'all compensating? It's like a nice triangle shaped bite. This sandwich looks so small in your bare hands. Everything looks small in my bare hands. Um, the pork is actually very well seasoned. You have that nice, like, juicy, savory of the fight. Hint of salt that you get in the pork. The ham sort of contributes to that saltiness. It gives it a nice little flavor, a nice bite. It is very meaty. It can use a little bit more mustard and a, a bigger hint of the cheese. I, I barely get the cheese at all. It's just mostly meat, with almost no cheese and no mustard. It's good, it's okay. It's not the best Cuban I've had on property, but I'll take it over no Cuban. I'll give this three out of five plus. Maharajas over 800 years ago. I'm trained in traditional music, but I like to play a lot of different things. So coming up next, I'm going to play some surf music. You might say there's no surf, surf, surfing in the Nandapur, but we have whitewater rafting here, Kali Rapids. So this goes out to anybody who took a trip on Kali Rapids and survived. It's called Surf and Satori. This is another item listed on the for the celebration of the Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Month. Uh, but it's a pina colada shaved ice, which is normally at Caravan Road when it's open. So it's like a regular item. It's not like limited time. It can disappear after this month. I'm still saying that Hispanic and Latin Heritage Month should have two months. Let's go ahead and give them September and October. We don't have a problem with overlapping months. We can celebrate all POCs together. Uh, I imagine I'm going to absolutely hate this because while I like pina colada, I do not like coconut. And it's got a ton of coconut rum in it, which unfortunately, or fortunately for the princess, isn't vegan. I like, like shaved ice. Like I love shaved ice, but I don't like coconut. It smells like suntan lotion. I have coconut rum, all right. It's cool and it's refreshing. If you love coconut, pink colada, you're probably gonna love this flavor, but it is so strong coconut. Still feeling like I just licked suntan lotion. It's a two and a half out of five plus for me.
We have this beautiful impossible empanada. Now you guys, this one was so confusing because when we saw it on the um, the Latin Hispanic Heritage Month Disney Parks blog post, it said impossible empanadas and then parentheses ground beef. So we came and we asked and they were like, yes, it's vegan. Yes, it's impossible meat. Yes, it's plant-based picadillo sauce to go with it. So even the sauce is vegan. So the whole damn thing is vegan. And it said ground beef in parentheses. That is confusing AF. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and split this one open for you so you can kind of see what it looks like on the inside. Very similar to our potato samosa that we had in the past. I'm gonna do two bites with these beauties, one without the sauce and then another with the sauce. This looks so delightful. I don't know, I feel like it looks even better than the last the little samosa that we have. Cheers to more vegan options at Animal Kingdom. It's got a really nice like masala flavor to it. It almost reminds me of like the curry that we had at Tusker House. I quite like it by itself. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five empanadas. Let me try it with this plant-based picadillo sauce. Nice little helping of that, healthy helping. Mmm, 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 oh my Lord. The sauce is everything. The sauce is what makes this a baller empanada. This is a five out of five. This is a Princess City's item. If you are coming to Animal Kingdom before October 15th, 100% you need to stop over here and get this item. Like the empanadas were already good before, but they're even better with impossible curry. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's an impossible curry, but it's literally like the same stuff that they offered at Tusker House in an empanada. I will give them one thing. It is absolutely chuck full of the filling. I hate getting any sort of like filled, savory, tasty, or filled pastry period, and then gaps of air and no fillings. But this, this is a pack boy. You could almost say it's a little impossible. Huh? They really went the extra step and spice the impossible meat. The impossible is like sort of grounded into some um, savory like sort of a spat Latin American seasonings. Yes, yes. With this sauce, let's give her a dip. Nice picadillo sauce, nice herbs and everything else in there. It looks like a beautiful sauce. I want to try to put this sauce in some tofu at the house. I'll make a note of that one. Mm. Oh God. We love dipping sauces here. That's next level dipping sauce. The seasoning combined with the spices of the possible meat. A little bit of heat. 
the piccadilla sauce adds it's like a three and a half at a ten on the spice scale back in the throat that's good it's amazing i'm giving that five out of five calls going to brandon Tessie's list also if you ever want to eat somewhere this little area next to the kids farm bakery is protected from a lot of the sounds throughout here perk place come and chill there's like two benches in here the party of four can come chill have a drink in the shade get this So that has been a happy Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Month from Behind the Tree of Life. Because this festival is giving me life. We need more of this. More to animal, well, I would like more outside of Animal Kingdom, but I appreciate the fact that we get an excuse to come to Animal Kingdom on Bear's birthday yes. to celebrate some vegan food and a Cuban, his favorite sandwich. There be more excuses to come to Animal Kingdom. I love how they're weaving the history of the country and behind Hispanic and Latin American Heritage into all the food and treats. We definitely need more of that. I need to know a commitment from you guys. When are you coming? I'm not asking if you're coming. Please come. I want to know when you're coming to this festival. I need to know how you guys like each and every item. Let us know when you're coming in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like us to see, of course, the comments is always going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Woo! We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and comment before they destroy Joe Rody's park and take away all of the, the reason why he built this beautiful kingdom in the first place. This park inspired Kingdom Hearts, people. It inspires. You heard the girl.